Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new video tutorial. This is going to be the part one of the painting of the star rate. But I want to start first with um, what is or what I use as inspiration. And sometimes when I look for ideas or when I look for painting schemes, um, how to look for some inspiration. In this case, for the star rate, I wanted to make a look on the real nature, what we can find in the nature. Of course, we cannot find dragons on the natural on the nature but we can find lizards and we can take inspiration from that lizards so here i want to show you some of the pictures that i was looking for and a little bit what is the inspiration i get from them so first of all this is one of the i think this is a dragon of komodo this is uh yeah this is a like a bluish uh, gray greenish bluish color and i think this is ideal for the belly of the dragon so I start looking uh, for different colors, and you will see that although sometimes we are using very bright colors in our miniatures, the natural sometimes can surprise us. So this is may, maybe the more the less impacting color for me. But let's look here. Here we have another um, lizard, and really is really a very nice scheme of um, of the scale. So really, if you look in, uh, this is uh, can be great, for example, for a uh, Seraphon or lizard men army. So we see this is really an impacting blue. I really like this one. And I start looking. Uh, this is the one that gives me more inspiration. I think I want to go in that direction. I will not do these black dots. I think if you want to do these black dots in a miniature like the uh, um, Star Trek, you can spend almost uh, one year to do just do that. Uh, but I, I will take inspiration from this one. Okay, here we have another example. This is ideal when you want to paint an A. So really look at the nature and you will see a lot of ideas. Uh, here we have another one. So uh, I just was looking. I really like, for example, from this one, this orange part, orange part on the top, the scales. Uh, this is really where I want to go with the with the star drawing. This is more like the color that I want to go to. So this in really bright blue. Here we have another one. I think this is uh, amazingly nice, and yeah, I just want to show you uh, that sometimes looking in the natural, and what I like here a lot is this white to break the part and this ochre colors, and this mainly the head, it, the same little if you look, the, the body is not the blue, it's more brownish. Here we have another example, really uh, more inspiration called the black, so looking in the natural is, is really a, a, a great inspiration for, for painting miniatures. I, I really take a lot of these ones because this is where I want to go. This is the direction I want to get. Uh, I will mix some of the idea, some of the previous ones with this really uh, striking blue. Here we have another example of the first one. So just another one darker, but with this really turquoise on the, on, on the back. So um, really, uh, here we have. So what I want to show you: look at the nature. I don't want to use yellows, for example, in my dragon. But here, what was great is to see this pattern here, the belly white. So really, looking this is another one, not for this one, but this, for example, can be a good inspiration for the one, the the creature from the orcs, where we have these really earthy colors on the body, and we can make this striking head. So or for any uh, big uh, lizard man creature so this is one of the first i really like this this color pattern i think i is i like these ones because i take um so as you can see in the nature if you put just i just put white lizard in google and you can find a, a lot of inspiration colors uh how to paint A's. so really i will, i will always encourage you look at the nature use uh, uh, Google and, and look search for images. So from there I will go to the paint, uh, I will know um, to start the painting job on the star break. I will start applying applying the base colors first, uh, a little bit of the scales, I will start working the scales in the belly and my idea is to paint the, the star break from the bottom to the back. The, the point is once the bottom is painted, the, the belly parts and all these parts, then uh, you can put in the base and you can manipulate without uh, rubbing the paint off so yeah here we have another one i think that i just go fast but you will see 
just look in the nature this one is for me is also amazing for a lizard this is great for example for a lizard and army instead of an army this combination of colors is very striking i really like this and this is really for me inspirational even to go for set an army so we have a lot of different uh, i just go fast this one for me was i wanted to uh, to look at the belly because there are not too many pictures of the belly or the bottom of the lizards to see how they look like another one here so uh, in here we see so really here the um, this is just a fast uh, a fast introduction and now let's just start cracking the job on the start break so after looking at the pictures of the different lizard and thinking how to paint this hell um star drake sorry so this is going to be my plan for the star drake just give me a minute looking for the wings to explain fully my my idea so i will do the belly on a bluish and greenish blue color and i will combine like the fenrician um, blue and calgar blue so i will use these colors and i will use as well the one from edge paints i will use these three colors sorry i'm getting off camera so let me let me show you these are the colors i will use for the belly okay these colors will go for the scales that are like these ones but then for the scales that are at the back um i will go for something much more by brian i will use temple guard blue i will use uh, baharo blue and i think the base is going to be something like turquoise I will go for something that is very vibrant on on the scales, on the back scales, and then I will think if I go for black or something like that, some dark color on the spines. So the spines. Once I have this, I will think how I will do the spines. Then the wings. The wings. I will not. I would. I don't want to use any one color. I don't want to use any orange, any red like they have been like King's Worship is using for them I want them to look really bluish so as you can see we have the scales here indeed the only one color is going to be the gold I will use for some of these armor plates and I will combine this with the green I use for my Stormcast Eternals but here what I will do is I will these scales will go in the same blue as the rest of the back the spines will go in the same color but this will go deep purple all this i will do it deep purple uh, i will try to point this and then as go as i go out of the wings at the back i will try to go lighter and i will do like this small stars like if these wings are the night so i want to simulate the night sky on these wings not moons of course not big shapes just small little stars so this is the idea and then these things here, the 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 one the the this part, I think I will keep them in the same. I I will think if I contrast them with a light uh, with a, a deep blue, maybe with this to to contrast. I will see. These are uh, these are things that are normally I I try to to check out when I'm doing this part. These wings you can see are not prime. I will prime them directly in blue. In that case. And now let's start painting these scales. I will start from the bottom parts and I will start from the belly because of the, more, the less accessible parts going out. Uh, you will see that in the meantime I will paint maybe the runes. This will be done as the same way as did the base. And if you want to know that I did a, a, a tutorial on how to do runes, uh, I will put the link below as well. So let's start with applying in calgar blue and um, yeah i also want to tell i will do all the tutorial using brush i will not use airbrush in painting this miniature i don't have airbrush and i feel good um using just a brush i will use my uh just my uh, base brush and really try to be very thin you want really not to cover any detail and you want to be light so you don't need to to be very very heavy on that uh, if the scales look a little bit pale don't worry you don't need to cover it's priming white as you can see for to do this paint color scheme 
here I recommend priming in black and white is not heavy prime as you can see I don't like to do heavy priming I don't think it's needed on plastic parts on plastic miniatures so I go with some light and priming indeed I prime this miniature being uh, in standing up so I did not did a, a, a spray on a special spray on the belly so as you can see I will apply this very lightly okay uh, um, I will water down the paint to be fair that goes into the different crevices into the different um, separation between the 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 scales but not covering the scales and if some of the scales are a little bit whitish I don't care because I will uh, uh, it's good it's even better so because I want to paint them um, later on so just do that okay so very light right and I will do all the bottom of the hellwig so as you can see I try to be I try to, to, to play with the paint quite thin it okay so this is uh, the next step is going to be maybe one of the most tedious steps that we are going to do in 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 the painting tutorial of this of this hell like it's quite a start like sorry it's quite a big miniature and I like the precision to go uh, pinpoint scale by scale <coughs> this can take quite a long time to do it if you feel confident you can try you can use as well dry brushing it's mass it's a faster technique but I will as you can as you will see I will try to paint uh, picking up a scale by scale later on. So, but so far, don't advance too much. Let's just apply the the base color. I will apply the base color on all these blue light blue parts, and I will be back once this is done. So, as you can see now, all the scales are done. I did also this part of the rings because uh, it's dry brush. I wanted to avoid to dirt the the and the this. Yeah, the clothes when they are painted so I just did that I don't do tutorial on that I did how to paint runes in my in in my channel if you want to know how this is painted I, I ask you to go to this video I, if you are interested just let me comment below I will I will address you to the right video now what we are going to do remember we did um, with um, what's called this um, Calgar blue, we did all these parts, and now we are going to take. And I will do it here because it's going to be more visible. This is a way to, to see how it looks like first. We are going to use Fenrisian grey, okay? And we are going to start painting the different scales, leaving the slot or the crevice between the, 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 the scales with the previous color. This is why I say that in previously we, we were not that important to paint. So we are going to go. You see. So this is going to be quite a lot of work, and I'm doing here because it's the part that is easy to show you. But we are going to do this. On all the scales, so it's going to take a lot of time to do that. You have to have passion. Put your video. I recommend you do it by phases. You do it a little bit, and then you paint another thing, because this can be very tedious work. It can be quite desperating because the other option is to go for the right brush. Do a right brush with um, for an addition gray. I prefer. To go in that way, but is this up to everybody? I prefer to pinpoint the different scales one by one. Okay, and I start from here because I think it's the the part that is easier for me to show you in camera. But no, yeah, I we need to do all from head to tail, and to by doing this, you have a lot of definition on the scales, and this is going to be one of the first steps. So we are going to repeat this with different um, light blues uh, and 
going almost to uh, going the last color is going to be white so as you can see I go here okay. I don't know if you can see this one clearly in camera but this is quite intensive work that we need to do so what I will do is I will just do this part here in the belly okay And I will and I will do the rest of camera, and I will show you once this is painted. But you see here what I what I, I, I am doing now. Let me see if I can show you closer. So you have to see here. I'm just pointing the different scales. So I will be doing that, painting scale by scale. Okay, so it's just, it's really a question. You don't have to be super precise, to be fair. But you you want the way to go into the slot. Okay. And I understand this can be quite discouraging. Because it's quite a lot of time to do a piece of this size in that way. But I think it's the way to have the cleaner, the clean, the cleanest finishing. Okay. I like, I prefer this uh, versus compared to the mm, the vibrash. But as I, as I said, you can use vibrash for the same. So I will be doing that and I will be back when all the drink is done. As you can see I did all the highlights on this light blue, okay? But now the next step, uh, instead of doing by zones, I will start first applying all the base colors. So I will apply all the base colors for the back scales because that's also the ones they want to use for this part here. Okay, so the color I'm going to use for that, uh, it's going to be, a, if I have enough, I need to check. So I'm going to use Temple Guard Blue on the other scales, okay? And then I will make it darker by doing a wash. So to do that, we can take a, uh, we'll use a base uh, brush, okay, and I will start first doing the scales here. We have to be a little bit careful not to go into the other blue. And I want to give this really bright uh, blue on the other scales. I want to go with really this so you can see I will apply this just um, as usual apply it thin and on all the scales okay and this is one of the main reasons is I want to make some washes or, or I will say um, glazes in the border between the two blues to create more differentiation between the blues and to be able to do that I need to apply the other blue. So I will keep doing that. I, here again is not a step that requires a lot of uh, technique, it's just 
carefully apply this blue in all the different scales and one tip if you want to paint the hell like in a way that you can use it in the battles you can first apply all the base colors then you can use the Heldwick half painted but will look like painted because you will have to apply all the colors of the different parts and then you can keep working later on on doing all the highlights so applying just the base colors is a good way to have a miniature ready for a tournament or for or to have a game and then you can spend more time later on finishing the rest of the parts so as you can see I think this blue is really nice I want to go I want to go for one of these vibrant blues that you have seen on on on, on, on some of the lizardmen then the white will help me to increase the differentiation between the the different scales and later on we are going to do some highlights so I will keep doing that okay I will do this here I will do the ones that are here on these talons okay you see here there's like small talons I will do the same and I will do all the back okay the back later on maybe I will I will use different colors on, on the scales but first I will start applying the base colors and it's going to be this temple guard blue so I will keep applying that and I will be back once this is done uh, on all the different areas so this is how it looks like now that, that we applied the base color on the back scales it's quite um, I will say yeah I would say a lightful color quite yeah but we are going to do this this are maybe too um, light and this is the head I also did the head okay following the same steps the wings I will do it later but now as I say I prefer to start applying all the base colors I want to give the, the overview look of everything and maybe we leave some small parts done later but the next step that I will do is I will paint all the different uh, clothes okay and I will paint them in black okay. we can I will paint them in black and then we, we are going to do the highlight later on so this is again base color Okay, for example, I start from here, I apply black on all these nails, clothes, talons, all these type of things, I will apply black. Okay, and I will also do the armor later on, so I will do the main base colors, and after that I will finalize this part, I want to do really small portions. Uh, it takes a long time to paint this this dragon. I try to keep as clean as possible the work from the beginning. I don't want to mess up. So as you can see, just here base color, very basic, okay. And yeah, once this is done for all the different clothes and talons, I will be back. I don't spend a lot of time here explaining more. Because there is not much to explain, just as usual, thin paints, try to be precise, I still using my base and uh, brush, it's a little bit damaged after all this painting, but it's still okay. Okay, try to uh, do a big brush when you're doing big surfaces, because the brush can be damaged after a while. So I will keep doing that and I will be back. So now, once I am in that stage, what I will do next is I will start applying some washes before doing the nails and I will apply a wash on the back and I will use a Surman blue in that case because I still have the dark, the previous dark blue in, um, wash but you can use any dark um, 
dark blue wash and we are going to apply this on the scales and especially you want to apply this on so we are going to apply this on top of the scales and this will give really a very nice texture on the scales you want you you want to be careful you want to make a nice border on between the 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 back scales and and the belly scales but what you want to do is just do that i will do just one part with this you will see that this is um, picking the color and the and the texture very fast i like this i like normally more the washers than 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 doing dry brush to do these type of things I think in when you have so nice definition of the scales, the wash, you see the wash is working perfectly well. So and this will will give really a very nice uh, color. I, I will apply, I will cover completely the scales with this darker blue, and I will be working on that. So I, I will do this as an example. Okay, more likely you maybe you need to do it in two. Is um, phases because uh, it's very easy to wrap off the 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 ink or the the wash I will say if it's not completely dry. But yeah, I um, I will do I will do this and I will do the same. I will apply the same on the head of the drink. Okay, so I will do the same here on the head. I will I will be painting all the scales. This will give very nice texture. Will give a lot of definition. What is important is really where we have the border between one scales and the other, the belly scales and the and the and the back scales to really um, bring the definition there. As you can see, I'm not using a very detailed brush. You don't need too much precision to be fair. You I you just touch the triangle. And the ink may do the rest for the rest of the work for you. Okay. So I do this section of the neck just as an example. You can imagine that the rest, as you see here, you can go really fast. Okay, and will not pull too much in in when you're doing scales. Will not we accumulate too much in one part because. There is a lot of texture, so the, the ink will naturally go into the crevices between the scales. So, as you can see, this is looking really good. I will keep doing all, and I will I will show you back once this is done. Sorry. I will show you back once this is done. And, uh, of course, we are going to do also, for example, uh, these ones here in the belly. Okay, this is why I'm doing this one because as I'm doing, I, I have to do these ones in the belly. I I will all, I I do also the back, so I prefer to do all the different ones. I want to do the, also the ones that are surrounding the the black nails. This is why I'm doing this before doing the nails, I, and and I like to see how it's looking like. I also want to see how all the colors are combining, and yeah, how all is going on. So as you can see, here in the belly, we just apply the same blue just on these scales here that we paint uh, and this will give really nice definition nice contrast with the grish the grish scales okay so yeah i will keep doing that and i will be back once uh, this is dry to show you how it's looking like after this step so do you see here the difference between the part with this with the ink and the part without the ink okay sorry with the wash and without the wash so it will be back once this is applied so this is how it looks like now that the wash is dry okay you see now the scales are has much more definition i think it was well of course we will need to clean up later on the wash and this is going to be maybe the longest work we have to do on the scales but now I will focus again on the belly scales and on the different clothes and here I, I just want to show an example I will start doing some type of um, how it's called this shades uh, on the different folds of the skin 
and also do like uh, a wash on the the pose. So what I'm doing here is instead of using a wash, I'm using a glaze from Genji Workshop. I'm using the Gilliman uh, Blue. Okay, this is a lighter. It's much lighter than than the wash that I used before, and. I, I apply this just on the part that I want to create some, um, I wanted to make it uh, darker. It looks much brighter at the beginning when we apply, but once it's dry, it's much soft than it looks like. So, uh, for example, here, it's a place that you want to apply that. If you want to apply uh, this on, on, on all the crevices, on all the folds, on the inside parts. For example, what I recommend on the tail, it's just follow this fold will give much volume to the tail, okay? Something like that. You don't need to be super precise. It's a, it's a, it's have more or less the same type of, um, how we we'll say texture or um, viscosity is the right word than than the than a wash. So it will go directly to where it's needed, okay? And it will, the color will go down a little bit once this dry. But I think this will give the, will give much color variation on the tail. So as you can see, and it's not a lot of work in on the tail. So I will do that, and then on the legs, I will I will do maybe I will do one leg here, the, this back. So I start with the pose and uh, or the clothes, and I I paint this straightforward. I just to go on all over this the, the, the case will be one of the feet okay you see it works like a wash it goes directly to the where we have the crevices if we go all over even is it slipping more than a, than a wash sometimes it's okay because then later on we are going to do layering to finalize the highlights and to clean up no what we want is to really mm, show or mark where we have the natural uh, shades or the natural crevices and texture of the skin. This here I apply, but truly this part it will not be visible when this is glued to the base. Okay. Then the important thing is when I go to the actual leg. Okay. For example, here I will not apply everywhere, so I will look the fall. For example, here I will I will try to emphasize the musculature of the of the drape no and then I will go here okay along here we want to be the these talons here or the base of the talons to really make them differentiate you want to apply in that part then let's do the extend of maybe it's easier to show. So you see this we have a big musculature thing here. So we go just below this, we emphasize that, we go also here, and when it's softening, just very little oh, I take something from there. So with very little pain. Try to, to do that. You can break what you don't want to have everything uniform, you want to show the musculature, you want to show that the skin is richer than just a flat color. And here we, we also do this. Okay. Okay, and you can let it just Spread a little bit, and this way I don't go with a super precise brush because I want really to make as diffuse as possible and not to. We need to let it dry. You see, when it dries, it's not as visible as in the other case. Sorry, the tail is in the way. Okay, so we, we need to be patient here. And the important part, for example, is this part here. We are going to apply here generously. Because this is a real dark, it's a real deep fold. That is the joint between the, 
the leg and the rest of the body. You can do this musculature here like that. Okay. You can even go a little bit here. You will see that will also help to emphasize different the part that is important to do. We do this leg, for example, this fall, this part here. You want to, to really dark this, darken this. Okay, and here maybe this is too much. You always can remove a little bit. Okay. So I will I, I will be doing that. And you want to do that on the tail, for example. Do you see the tail now that is dry? It's not that visible as it was when it's fresh. It really the color goes down a little bit when it dries. It's much visible when you apply for first time. Here it disappears, so you don't need to fall, to continue because this has disappeared here. So you can I can go just a little bit more and make it disappear. Okay, and then we do the same in the other side of the tail. So you see we have this special type of fall here. So we just go okay. And we apply this. And then if you want to diffuse it a little bit with the same blue, you go and you do something like that. And it's not going to be that striking. So you can you can make it go a little bit down. Okay, and we'll go look the transition less hard. Okay, if you see I take them here and so you can once this go and Supply you go and you do something like that. That's what they say. You, you don't need a precise, really a precise brush to do that. Okay, so I will be doing that on the rest of the legs. Uh, for different the legs again, you have the feeling that the transition is too harsh. You can do the same. Then for here, looks natural that we are going to darken this part. Sorry if I go to the camera. This is quite a big miniature and sometimes it's difficult to know. You see? Another part that can be interesting to put some dark blue can be for example here. a little bit so I will keep doing that I will do the front um, pause and, and all this first and I will be back to show you on the head this is looking like now that I did also the wash on the head the only thing that we are going to do the head is here we apply okay, and the same time on the other side Okay, so let's keep the head there. I will keep, I will keep applying this place on the legs, and I will be back. So this is how it's looking like now. Okay, you see here the let me point this here. Here we have darker color just next to we we do the different shades on the leg okay we have it also in that side okay so this give more depth more texture to the star drink okay let's so see the bottom right 
and then you see detail okay uh, I will uh, this is where I finalize the first part and then on the second part we start doing the clothes and the and the hands and yeah and, and the pose so the next part I will start doing this part here and also the talons and yeah uh, I, I prefer to do it in the smaller portions of video because it's easier to edit and then you can keep following up the paint job I'm doing on the start week. So yes, this is the first part and um, I remind you if you want to support me I have a Patreon account uh, you can support me in Patreon if you want. Uh, please comment, like if you like what you see here and as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you later. Bye!